Yeah, well, most email providers, when you go to uplink from what's normally a spreadsheet, isn't it, have a little box that says these individuals have consented to the email, right? And if you lie when you tick that, it's very much on you, you know? Um, equally, if you read the terms, and I'm the sort of boring person that reads the terms, you know, I, I read all that stuff, everyone else gets click, click, I agree, you know, I have... I have no life. Somewhere in the terms of your agreement will be if that data is dodgy and if the if the email marketing company gets fine, they'll come back to you. You may think click, 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 no, no, no. And it is true that 90% of the time right now you won't get caught unless it's a mega, mega, mega database, you know. But people know this. And I mean, I'm no... Uh, Tech Supremo, but many of us have accounts where we can create spare email addresses at no extra cost. So if I'm signing up for something and I don't know the organisation, I'll give them an email address. And if six weeks later other people start mailing it, I know that company need my data because that's the only time I've ever used that email. There are whole people way more tech savvy than me who know that you're doing this. And all it's doing is undermining trust. And again, sending spam emails into folders that are never open, that reduce the deliverability and your open rate and reduce the whole point. Why would... I want to do business with an organisation I never heard of that's spamming my inbox without my consent. 